Hey YouTube, so in today's episode, we are working on my wife's 2018 Toyota Sienna. What we're doing here is we are changing the brake pads. So my wife's been complaining that whenever she brakes, there's a squeal or squeaky sound that comes from the rear tire. So I'm going to show you why that is so. So this is the brake pad. You see that little thing of jig there that's barely touching the brake rotor? Well, anyway, that's what's making the noise. It slowly scrapes the rotor as you step on your brake. And so that thing right there is like a feeler gauge. It scrapes and makes noise. So that is to tell you that your brake needs to be changed. And so what we're going to do today is we are definitely going to be removing the brake pads and we're going to swap into new brake pads the other side's the same and so however we do on this side we're going to do it on the other side okay so to <clears throat> remove the caliper there's the nut there's this bolt right here and there's a bolt right here so these are 14 millimeter sockets bolt and so what you need to do is you need to loosen this bolt up the bolt and then take this out like that so it's not that hard once this is removed take out your brake pads and you can see this is that little thing that's this that was the uh, scraping on the rotor so that's there for a purpose is to warn you that your brake pad needs to be changed there and this one has it too okay so we're gonna go get the new pads all right guys so I went to AutoZone came back got these from AutoZone part number DE 1391 brand name is Duralast these are the elite brake pads edition so let's go and install these bad boys into the van okay so what we do here is that this kit comes with these little brackets here these brackets right here hold the brake pads inside so you don't really have to but here it is. I'm going to show you how this thing goes in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install these pads, or these brackets, onto here because we are, since we are changing the brake pads anyway, might as well do this. So, you take your long nose plier and pull them out like that. However you uh, get them out, you uh, put them in, okay? Goes here, goes in. Goes in the same way it came out. Okay, here as well. So you see here, this little clip right here goes onto this, uh, the inner side here. Okay, so now that we have these little brackets right here installed in here, these brackets are here for a purpose and that is to hold your brake um, pads here. So after that, what you need to do is if this kit comes with this little thing here, you need to install this onto your brake pads here. So these are little indicator uh, brackets. What they do is that they scrape the rotor when it's really, when your brake pads here runs low. So this little thing scrapes and so it makes that noise like uh, your nails goes you know scratch on the chalkboard so here I've already installed this here I had to adjust the height here by beating down on the 
the top here to make this thing come down a little bit. Okay, so here, this thing, goes in like this. Okay, so this thing goes in like that. And then we're gonna put this side here as well. So this here will go up front like this. It's gonna clip onto this like that. Okay, so you see here it's it's really really far up here so what I need to do is I need to tap this down using um, a little tool like this hit this down so it'll come down a little bit there so then I'm gonna insert this into the bracket here And that's how it goes in. Okay. So then now we have to ascertain as to how this thing uh, will go into here because being that's a new bracket, this thing, this caliper here will not fit this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to press this uh, hydraulic base here in, hydraulic cup here in. Okay. All right, so what I have here is a caliper here. What I'm going to do here, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to press this cup in like this. Now be careful, don't press it too far in because you don't want it to be that it, there's a plastic uh, shroud here. You don't want it to be that the plastic shroud is uh, coming out. So that's out here. Okay. So then what's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to place this back here. Okay. You'll see here this thing goes back in. There. Okay, so now we'll use the same bolt that I loosened. Put them in. Okay, and then that in okay tighten that okay tighten that all right so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm going to be tightening this is 22 foot pounds that's what my book says so here we go Okay, so that's 22 foot pounds. Everything is in. And that's how you change your brake pads. The other side is the same thing because it's basically the same system. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys.